Hello, I just want to share a quick recording to show us how to set up content restrictions on our iPad so that way you have the ability to block a specific website, um, whether it's at school or at home. So to do that on your iPad, you're going to go to settings and on the left hand side, you're going to see where it says screen time. So we're going to tap on screen time and then you're going to turn your screen time on and you'll tap continue the first time. And for this, we can go ahead and just say this is my iPad because this will allow you as the adult to set up a password if you would like to do that for your child or student. So screen time is currently turned on, but now we want to go ahead and work on blocking some um, content on our websites. So let's say, for example, there's a specific website. We'll just use YouTube for an example. Um, if you would like to block YouTube, um, whether at school or at home, if you tap on in the red here where it says content and privacy restrictions, at the very top there's a button that says content and privacy restrictions. We're going to toggle that button on. And then in the third option down where it says content restrictions, you'll tap content restrictions. The top category we don't have to worry about um, simply because that's for the App Store and students don't have the App Store on their devices. So the second category called Web Content. This is where we want to go here to block a specific website. So you'll tap on Web Content, Unrestricted Access. And then you're going to go down to the second option that just says to limit websites. This allows you now to go in the very bottom category under Never Allow to add a website that you do not want to have access to. So you'll tap Add Website and then we'll just go ahead and tap in YouTube com and tap done and now we'll go ahead and exit out of settings we'll go to our web browser we'll type in youtube.com and you can see it says you cannot browse this page at youtube.com because it is restricted so that is how you set up that restriction to block that specific website now the one thing that you might want to think about doing is going back into your screen time in settings and actually setting up a passcode because if there is no passcode set up then anyone could just come in here and turn screen time right back off so if you want to set up a passcode there's this option here in blue that says use screen time passcode and I just want you to be very aware of this whether this is a teacher or a parent at home doing this it's going to be really important that if a passcode gets set up on a child's device that that passcode gets communicated between the parent and the teacher uh, because if a teacher sets it up and sends it home uh, and the parent wants them to have access to a specific site at home, then the parent will need to know that code to unlock that so they could have access. Or vice versa, if a parent sets up a screen time passcode at home and then sends the device to school, um, the teacher may need to have access to a specific website at school for their uh, students, so that way they would have to have that passcode from the parent. So just really important to make sure that communication happens between school and home if a screen time passcode is set up. But we'll go ahead and use screen time passcode. I'm just going to set one up here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then your passcode is set up. If I wanted to change the screen time passcode, I would have to turn it off by typing in the passcode or changing it. Uh, so again, if your child does not know the passcode, you're going to be safe there. And then again, if they tried to just turn off screen time, they have to type in the passcode to turn off screen time. So that gives you a little bit of security there where they are not allowed to go in and turn those restrictions off. But again, just be very careful of that. If a passcode is set, that that communication does happen between home and school. So that way parents or teachers would have access to turn those on and off uh, when they deem appropriate. And so let's say a parent does have a restriction set up on their child's iPad at home before they send their iPad back to school. If they want to turn the passcode off themselves, that's fine. Or if they want to just give the passcode to the teacher, the teacher can turn it off. To do that, you would simply just tap where it says content and privacy restrictions. You enter in the passcode and then just simply toggle the button off. And that turns off that restriction. So when you go to Safari and you go to YouTube, it is now unblocked and you have the ability to get to that specific website. And then if you want to quickly turn it back on, again, go back into screen time, back under content privacy restrictions, type in that passcode, and then just toggle that button back on. And when we go back to Safari, you'll now see that the content is restricted again.